Arsenal Manchester United remember Manchester United beat Arsenal 3-1 in September but can they do it again this time around Arsenal have not lost in the league since that game there's eight points between these two sides but Frank even though we've been seeing goals from the two you say this one's going to be nil nil oh Why? no Oh, uh, well, for a stupid reason, I will owe a, a big dinner to one of our producers if uh, Arsenal <laughs> win the Premier League. So uh, I already paid that they, because I said that Chelsea will finish before them. So I already paid last time I came over uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to Louise. Uh, my, my dinner, so I don't want to pay twice, you know, so... <laughs> no, but really, I think Manchester United uh, are getting better. And uh, I don't know, at some point, you know, I still feel Arsenal fragile. You know, I will have to apologise if they keep on going like that and, and win the Premier League. But I feel that at some point, something's going to happen and they're going to they're gonna drop, you know, at the advantage of uh, Manchester City. So it can start uh, uh, against Manchester United if they draw at home. Mario, you're backing Manchester United, even though Casemiro isn't there. Why? Yeah, you know why? Because I want this league to open up. Because, you know, mine is also what I want to happen. It's not only that I, I, I think it's going to happen, but if Man United wins, oh, man, it's wide open. And then it's just like fire again at this, at this league. So that's why I hope if they win, then... Arsenal got to play Manchester City twice. Oh, my God. This league is wide open. So that's why Man United bring some life to this league again. Frank, because of a dinner. Mario, because that's what he wants mm -hmm. it to be. Yeah. Will it matter that Casemiro isn't there for Manchester City? No, of course it matters because he has made a tremendous impact, has had a tremendous impact on Manchester United and the structure of the team and how he has made players around him better. I have no, no better image than that than what we saw from Fred last weekend against Manchester City. You're seeing Casemiro structurally giving you the balance, but now Fred, who was booed by Manchester United fans at times, all of a sudden he's running around with energy and winning challenges and winning tackles, becoming an important player for Manchester United. Now, following that match, the conversation on this show was that Manchester United were indeed a title contender. It was said on this show. And so... If indeed they're a title contender, uh, regardless of whatever their, their, their result was in the midweek, you have to imagine that this is the sort of game in which Manchester United has to give the best version of themselves. Because of the absence of Casemiro, I will say that it's just enough for a draw, not enough to win it. That's why I have it as 1-1. Shaka, your prediction and why? Uh, I went for Arsenal 2-1. Um, and, and listen, I think Manchester United have been absolutely fantastic draw against Crystal Palace, result aside. Um, and, and Alice, yes, Casemiro is a huge miss. I think under other circumstances, Manchester United can cope without Casemiro against different opposition. And while United got the better of Arsenal earlier on in the season, United have, have improved. I still feel right now Arsenal are playing the best football in the league by a long way. Um, and, and why the miss, why the Casemiro miss is so huge, where it wouldn't be as big against anybody else, is because of how many different ways Arsenal can hurt you, particularly from that midfield. Whether we're talking about Thomas Partey sitting deep, or we're talking about Odegaard or Smith Rowe, whoever you want to throw at, that midfield is dynamic and can can hurt you every every in, in every single department. That's why I think this game more than any that the the, the Missing of, of Casemiro um, is, is, is telling. And, and Arsenal at home with their fans at their back, with history beckoning, um, I, I just feel they get the three points. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.